Welcome to Drawing Conclusions. I am Josh. And I'm Agent J. <laughs> that Wait, is true. For today, you are Agent J. Start with J. That doesn't work. In fact, that's one of the questions I have about how Men in Black works. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm Jessica. And uh, today we're talking about Men in Black yes, International. Yes, you are Jessica. Very good. <laughs> yes, we are talking about Men in Black International. Yes. Well, Josh, what did you think of this movie? You know, I really enjoyed this show. It, uh, you know, I didn't go into this with super high expectations. I mean, after all, it is a Men in Black movie. <laughs> um, I'm not looking for, like, some groundbreaking, mind-blowing science fiction. I'm looking for a fun thrill ride of a show, and that's exactly what this movie is. It's fun. It's got lots of good humor, cool action, nice visuals, uh, pretty good sound effects and sound design, especially at the end scene there. I thought that mm. was pretty neat. Um, and it's got a great cast. Um, Chris Hemsworth, Tessa Thompson, Liam Neeson, Emma Thompson. Really great stuff. Mm -hmm. Good actors all. Anyway, but I enjoyed this movie. It was fun. It was well paced. I mean, the overall plot of the story, there was not a whole lot of mystery to that. I mean, you probably figure it, you could probably figure it out in like the first five minutes of the show. Right, <laughs> right. For sure. And so, but it, it does some things differently. Um... And kind of like separating itself from the other Men in Black films. And I think it's a nice change of pace. How about you? I also enjoyed it. Um, I Yeah, again, I wasn't expecting a whole lot. You know, the first Men in Black, I enjoyed that movie. Came out a bazillion years ago. But right. um, I enjoyed that. I never saw the sequels. Didn't really, you know, they didn't look good. Didn't seem interesting. So I never checked those out. Well, the second one surely was not. <laughs> <laughs> but this one uh, looked pretty good from... The trailers. Yep. Um, again, not groundbreaking, not like some theatrical masterpiece that won't win any Oscars, but it was a good summer popcorn flick, right? Like yep. just something that is a good old American tradition, I guess, of being able to go to the theater and just have a good time and kind of, you know, put your brain away for a couple hours and just delve into a fantasy land where. There are aliens running around all over Earth. I thought it was the character designs were cool. I yeah, that's I some really nice, interesting character designs. Like the chemistry between Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson, uh, I think they work really well together. I think Chris Hemsworth does a really good job playing somebody who's, you know, a little bit goofy. Um, you know, not intentionally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a little, a little uh, inept sometimes and. And uh, comedic without intending to be, you know, in terms yeah. of a character. Mm -hmm. um, and then, um, what's his name? Um, Kamal Nanjiani. Kam Kamal Nanjiani, yeah. I thought his, he would, did the voice of... Uh, Pawnee. Of Pawnee slash Steve. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I thought he was really funny. Yeah. I thought that was a good character for the show. Um, you know, really added a lot, I thought, to the, to the humor um, yeah, he had some great lines, movie. and he delivered them very nicely. I mean, just, he did what he did. He did his job. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, but this wasn't the greatest show I've ever seen. I mean, no. like you said, the twist to the plot was pretty obvious. The plot itself was something that, you know, you've seen a million times. Um, this yep. kind of idea of, I, I won't give it away because that would be a spoiler, but, um, but, you know, it's when you hear what the the conflict is in the story. Yeah, right. It's like yeah, a very common cliche conflict to have in a film. Yeah. And of you're this like, nature, oh, okay. <laughs> you know? And, but that, I mean, that was all fine. You know, right. I mean, it wasn't, I wasn't expecting it to be some earth shattering, innovative thing. You know, it's a reboot of the Men in Black franchise or not a reboot really, but you know, a well past well past what you would expect for a sequel, I guess, yeah. in, times, in terms of timing. So, that's all. It was good. I enjoyed myself. Yeah, I mean, I did like the way that they did carry up, carry the plot forward. I mean, you did know what was happening, but that didn't mean it was boring. Right. And so, I mean, that that's a real win in the category. Because, right. so, like, a movie like this, with a predictable plot, could totally suck. And you'd be like, right. when is this going to end? Because I've seen those. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, even though the plot was predictable, it was still fun seeing how exactly you were going to get to the end right. of all of it. I thought it was, anyway. So, yeah. Yeah, I agree. 
All right, so Josh, tell us about this picture that you did for Men in Black. Well, for this one, I'm going to go more uh, a minimalist, like pop art kind of feel. This is based off of uh, old comic books from way back in the day, very obscure title um, from an indie publisher, I think Malibu Comics. Anyway. Um, oh, Men in Black, you mean? Yeah, Men in Black is yeah. based off of a, an old, Not like, very truth. indie comic book uh, idea. Anyhow, so I kind of wanted to keep with that kind of like graphic novel-y, you know, comic book kind of feel. And so just a simple pen and, or brush and ink and some watercolor with some paint spatters. Give it some, some cool texture and effect. So really simple, just black and white outlines and silhouettes almost. So that's mm -hmm. really all I was going for. All right. And I think it turned out really good. I had fun doing it. See all the fun I'm having? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you sound... Like you're having the time of your life. It was great. Can't you tell? <laughs> I loved it. All right, Josh. Uh, what rating would you give Men in Black? We forgot to do ratings. Uh, well, I would give this three space invasions out of five. <laughs> a, a good movie. Not great. Better than average. Um, but, you know, overall, a very fun experience. Yeah. Agreed. Okay, so uh, that's it. Josh, what should they do now? Well, if you haven't done so already, hit that notification bell. Also, ding ding. a ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Hit the subscribe <laughs> button. Um, we always love that. Share with us your comments. We like to hear from you. Also, share... The, um, what's the other one? <laughs> share with your... Like, like comment, comment, share. 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 There it is. Subscribe. Subscribe. Also, check us out on Patreon. We've got... Yes. Uh, podcasts up there including one uh, the drive home where we talk about this right after we get out of the theater from the time we leave the theater it's a parking lot till the time we hit the driveway yeah and that's full of spoilers yep. so if you've already seen this movie and want a little bit more discussion in-depth discussion you can check us out on patreon yep. and we have other podcasts there too mm -hmm. where we talk about trailers bad movies things like the that. bad movie ones are particularly fun <laughs> i do love those all right thanks thanks